New bolt pricing is absurd, especially for a splatter paint finish and a screwed in console. But they can charge it because they can get it. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to dive into some juicy drama surrounding the new Mayak Reaper that was just released and with a price tag of 90k. So if you guys are interested in this boat and want to see some stuff about it, we're going to go over that. But guys, if you're new here, my name is Kay. This is Tides Fishing. We do all kinds of saltwater fishing tips and videos. So if you're into that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're going to have a little coffee talk this morning to go over all this stuff and give you guys some facts on this boat. And we're also going to dive in to some comments that have been made about this boat and kind of let you guys decide for yourself, what is this boat really worth the 90k or is it just a price tag for something they're trying to mark up? Anyways, but for my little subscribers also, at the end of the video, I've been doing some logo design. So at the end of the video, I'm going to post some logos. I need you guys to hang around and drop in the comments below which one of those logos you guys like the most. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. So to give you guys a little bit of background on this boat, it was released here recently at the Houston Boat Show by Mayak and renamed as the Reaper. So originally this is a hole that was by SCB, it was called the RC24 and Mike bought this hole from them. There's been a little bit of work on it for a couple years, I think, and now they just now released it. So it has, it's just a catamaran hole. It's something different for Mike. Normally Mike has the Illusion, which is kind of the flat bottom hole, and also the Extreme, which is what everyone's used to. So this is a new type of hole for Mike, so it'll be interesting to see how this turns out for them, especially with a price tag of 90K. They're trying to get up there and kind of compete with the Eric Simmons boat, these custom made boats. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. But I've been looking for a lot of pictures for this boat, and I actually DN Mayak, and this is the response that I got. I'll throw it up here on the screen somewhere. So they did not have any really good more pictures of the boat. So I've been waiting, kind of looking around the internet, and I finally found a video and a dealer who has some pictures of this boat. So we're going to go ahead and dive into my computer, and I'm going to give you guys a look for yourself, and you can see what you think. Okay, so here's the video of the boat. You can find this on YouTube if you want to go look at it for yourself. But first impressions, you, as you can see, this is a very pretty boat. It's 24 foot. This looks like that's the traditional kind of Mayak screwed in console. Has some nice little racing seats right here and this actually has a Mercury 300 on the back with the power pole. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this video let you guys kind of look at it for yourself and get a look for it. Um, like you said it has a dual power pole. It is the catamaran hull. That is one of the new Mercury racing um, 300s, the four strokes. It's a very powerful motor on the back of that. I think these boats are going to be built for the 300s. But what's interesting, and we'll see this in the comments later, is that this boat only has the options of, I think, a 36 and 40 gallon fuel tank. So this 300 is gonna eat through that 36 and 40 gallon fuel tank super quickly. But here's kind of going up to the front of the boat. We got a good look at the console right here. It looks like they're gonna be have a sim rad. I'm sure you'll be able to customize this however you want. But then you can also see the gas tank here below the console, just like the normal mic boats have them. And so it looks like you kind of have the same top on the boat, same similar to the Illusion with it kind of peeled over um, the outline going around the boat. Here's going to give a little more look at the console, the riser bar they have. I mean, you'll be able to customize that, I'm sure, when you order it to whatever you want it to be. The front deck looks real spacious. Looks like you'll have plenty of room up there for fish many people. That's again about the 24 foot boat. I think it's going to be a good option. It's a good size. It's not 23, it's not a 25. So, this is a video that I found out there. This is on YouTube. You can go and check this out for yourself. That's pretty much all it is. But I'm going to go ahead now and jump into a couple of the pictures. I found on the dealer's website and you guys can kind of get a better look at the hole. So here are some of the pictures that I found on this, the D Yamaha dealer, the Yamaha Premier dealer's website. So here's a really good side profile of the boat that you guys can see here similar to what you just saw here in the video and then we'll kind of go ahead and we'll flip here. Here's kind of a rear view also, same thing. And then here, this is where you finally get to see the new hole that Mike has made. This is different compared to their traditional holes, the Illusion, the flat bottom, like I said, the Extreme, the V bottom. So this is a new boat for Mike, it's something they haven't done before. And that, this is, I guess, why they're pushing up into a little bit higher price tag. Suppose this, and it's also a little bit faster than those kind of boats too. So these are the pictures of the boat. It's gonna become on the Coastline trailer, I know. You can see it looks like they're gonna have, I'm assuming, a live well somewhere back here, unless it's gonna be a live well in the front of the console like some other Mikes have. With the racing seats, the speakers, you'll be able to customize those how you want the front deck. Here's another profile underneath and another profile from the other side. So that's kind of all the pictures that I've been able to find on the internet and the videos. So it's a very interesting boat. Whether it's going to be worth the 90K or not, we're going to go ahead and dive. I'm going to read in some comments. I'm going to pull you guys back out of the computer. I'm going to read through some comments and we can kind of see what everyone's been saying about this boat. 
All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get into some of the comments that have been made about this boat. And I'm pulling these comments from my favorite fishing forum, and that is Too Cool Fishing. So if you guys haven't been on there, haven't created an account, go on there and create you an account. There's some really knowledgeable people if you guys have any questions about any kind of saltwater fishing stuff. And there's also some people who aren't afraid to speak their mind. So we're going to go ahead and get into those comments. I'm going to throw them here up on the screen, the good ones. But starting off, this comment says, I think only having a 40 gallon gas tank if you don't get a race console is going to eliminate it as a viable option for a lot of guys. Those big engines use too much gas to only have 36 gallons. And what he's saying here is that a lot, even for, not even if you're tournament fishing, but really for tournament fishing, guys who are running wide open all the time, it is going to eat through that 36 gallon tank or 36 gallon usable tank. So that's gonna eliminate it as an option for a lot of people. This comment here says, I lost all interest when the salesman told me it was over 90,000. I saw Simmons hit a ship's wake running at least 75 miles per hour and I think an aluminum flat bottom would have had a softer landing. But if you got the itch, scratch it. So I guess he's saying that he don't see a point in uh, spending $90,000 on this boat. And then my favorite comment, haters gonna hate, lol. D cheers to that, man, you know. Here it says, I was told it was rated for a 350. I think that might have been where the 80 miles per hour came from. So I said 300 earlier, I guess this boat might be rated for a 350, according to this comment here. So here's another one, a guy saying was not impressed, hard to spend 90k on a boat with this screwed down console. So a lot of these guys are saying that, hey, this isn't a custom made boat, there's really no point in spending this much, you might as well go buy like a Simmons or something for this price tag on it. So that's what it seems like the, the vibe is here. People have their own opinions here on this boat, it's really interesting to see how it's going to turn out for Mayak, whether this is going to be their new kind of flagship boat, if they can get it priced into the market correctly, or if it's going to be a complete dud and they're going to lose all of their this high market to Simmons, so that'll be interesting. But for you guys who stuck around, thank you my little subscribers. I'm going to throw up here probably two or three different logo designs that I've been working on. And comment below on which one you like the most or if there's something that you want to see different in one of these that change up colors and something or a different type of design, different type of font. Let me know below everyone. But thank you for watching guys. Like I said, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also drop a like on this video if you found it helpful and maybe leave a comment too if you think you're gonna be buying the new sim or the new RC24 let us know your thoughts below and we'll see you guys in the next one guest appearance y'all know what's going on everybody <laughs> welcome back link down below find my channel fishing hunting cooking subscribe lifting. click that notification bell bro let me know fishing website out there too cool fishing if you guys aren't on it go check it out 